Hi right guys, welcome back to the channel and on today's video, well today's video is going to be just a little different and I was almost not going to make a video this week but my buddy Mark Chancoco mentioned on a Strava post that he was looking forward to seeing a video on my cruise holiday. So ultimately that is what this video is going to be. Now if you have been following me on Strava you know that I am currently on the Wonder of the Seas. Now this is the newest cruise ship from Royal Caribbean. It is also the biggest in the world and my friends it is a pretty spectacular ship. It weighs 236,857 gross tons. It is 210 feet wide has a cruising speed of 22 knots. It is 1,188 feet long. It has a 30 foot draft that has 16 passenger decks, 24 guest elevators, four bow thrusters with 7,500 horsepower each. Its maiden voyage was on March 4th, 2022. And I am on the third sailing that this ship has ever done. It can fit a whopping 6,988 guests. But luckily, due to them just coming back from COVID, we are only sailing at 71% occupancy. There are also 2,300 crew aboard. So there are more than enough crew to take care of your every need and they are extremely helpful and I'm filming this video on the day that we are in Phillipsburg St. Martin so in a minute I'm just going to walk you through the ship but I guess primarily this being a running channel and this being a little different to the video that I usually put out I don't stop running just because I'm on holiday in fact I will be running every day of this cruise now I do love the track on this ship and you're going to see that in just a second but I've also got a couple of key workouts that I need to knock out this week and those workouts will be done on the treadmill in the gym you will also be seeing the gym in just a second okay what other stats can I think of uh, there are two 2,867 staterooms. There are 11 bars and lounges. There's a carousel, there's a flow rider, there's laser tag, there's mini golf, there's ice skating, there's a zip line. You're gonna see most of that in just a few minutes. I think that's it. So if you wanna see what a runner does when he goes on vacation, as well as running, keep watching this video. And perhaps you have stumbled across this video because you have an upcoming cruise on Wonder of the Seas. You are probably gonna get some value out of this video too. Now this ship is vastly too big for me to cover everything they have in just one video. So if you have any specific questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. I have been on other Oasis class ships probably six or seven times before this one but this is the first time I've been on the Wonder of the Seas and again this is the biggest ship in the world. Why don't we get inside? You know what let's skip to me getting up early and doing my long run because on the first day of this cruise I did have a long run schedule. Now when I'm filming this I've actually got the Boston Marathon coming up in just a few weeks so I couldn't neglect my training on this run but yeah let's get up early let's get up early right now. This is about one of my favorite times to be on a cruise and that's waking up super early. It's about, it's about half four right now and there is absolutely no one around. Guys, it was not like this last night. There was a lot of people out here partying and having a good time, but I've got to get up early because I've got to knock out that long run. Let's take care of business. The sun's not coming up for a while, so there's not going to be too much to see, but I'll check in in a bit. Okay, I actually lost about half an hour because I sat down, I had a cup of coffee, then I had another cup of coffee, but I'm finally out on the running track and you can see it kind of behind me. And the track on this ship is pretty good. So by pretty good, I mean it's quite long. It's 2.4 laps of the ship for every mile. And they have this little cheat sheet right here. You guys see that? So let's do miles just because that's generally what I work in. One mile, 2.4 laps, five miles, 12 laps. So this morning I am hoping to do 20 miles here on this track. So 20 miles is about 48 laps. I will be measuring my running using my stride foot pod because when your running track is moving forward at 20 knots, it's very difficult to get an accurate GPS track. All right, let's get started. It is going to be lovely when the sun comes up, but while nobody's here on the track because it's so early, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse to show you the entire track. So I'm sure some of you are wondering what our cabin looks like. So let's go check that out right now. Ah, good thinking. I locked the door open so I wouldn't have to unlock it on camera. Pretty standard, I'd say, balcony cabin. We have a sofa right here. The bed is in the back. Come around here and we have the bathroom. We'll just take a quick look inside. Pretty standard. Now this is a must have for when you're cruising. This is like a cruise hack. You can buy these little magnetic hooks on Amazon and the walls are made of metal in a cruise cabin. So you can just stick them on there and then hang whatever you need to hang. Here's a little desk, of course, with all the important stuff. The GoPro is right there, stride foot pod, everything a runner needs on his cruise holiday. This is one of the closets. Of course, got a couple more cameras here to get all that running footage. And then there is another small closet over here, running shoes in the bottom. And who is this out on the balcony?
Say hi, lovey. Hi. Okay, so we are on the tenth deck of the Wonder of the Seas, and it's a bit of a drop. Probably twist an ankle if I fell off. Alright guys, so that's our cabin. It's a very comfortable place to stay for a week. And I think you can probably see behind me the beautiful blue waters of St. Martin. So it's time for Harmony and I to go and check out Phillipsburg. But first, why don't we take a look at another area of the ship? I know you already saw the Royal Promenade at night when I was getting ready to go for that run, but it's the sun shining now, so it's a lot easier to see everything. We don't have that blue tinge on everything. So right behind me is the Rising Tide Bar, and it's already up at the top right now, but that comes down and then you can get on at the bottom and ride it up to the top. Speaking of the top, if we look through these skylights right up here, let me adjust that so you can see it just a little better. Up here is Central Park, and we're gonna go up there in just a second. Now on all the Oasis-class ships, they have a car in the middle of the mall, and right here, as you can see, we have a nice old Mustang. Write in the comments if you know what year this Mustang is. Right behind me is Cafe Promenade. They serve coffee all night. You can get cakes, you can get cookies. Now right behind me is Sorrento's. Now they're not open all night, but here you can go and get a slice of pizza. This has to be one of the most popular places on the entire ship. The Cask and Clipper is right behind me. That's their English pub. If we look up here, we can see Spotlight Karaoke. Are you a fan of karaoke? Personally, I'm not. Probably won't be spending much time in there. You can see the sun is really shining down from up through Central Park. I think you're gonna be excited to see Central Park. It's a real treat. Here we have Entertainment Place pointing downstairs. So let's run down the stairs and see. Now this is the golden room. Now obviously there are rules against filming inside a casino, so I'm not gonna go inside. I heard it was originally made for like the high rollers to be separated from the unwashed masses in the regular casino. But right now it's serving as a non-smoking casino. Right here we have the Diamond Club. If you know, you know. Now down here in Entertainment Central, this is where the Comedy Club is. And also right behind me is Studio B. This is where the ice rink is. Let's go and see if the doors are open, see if we can get in and take a look. The doors are not open. Maybe I will insert some footage in here right now. Now, one of the best things about this ship, in fact, one of the best things about all Royal Caribbean ships is all the artwork they have on display. Right now, you can see we're walking down a hallway. They have different artwork all around, but it's not just regular paintings hanging on the wall. They have tons of beautiful sculptures everywhere. Actually, you know what? We can film in a casino right now because the ship is in port, so nobody's allowed to gamble while it's in port. And all your typical casino games. Texas Hold'em, three card poker, and a load of slot machines. Blackjack? and roulette. All right, let's get up to Central Park. Okay, we're going outside to Central Park and the sun is high in the sky, so I'm gonna put on these sunglasses. And this is seriously one of my favorite places on the entire ship. It's enclosed, but an open sky. And you can get cabins that look down into the park. Now you can see there is a lot of greenery all around me. They do have a full-time staff of gardeners to look after all these. There are tours from horticulturalists that let you know about all the plants that are on the ship and of course, all the work that goes into maintaining them. Here is one of the sculptures I was talking about, and these things are just scattered about the entire ship. Now, a lot of these restaurants in Central Park, you have to pay a little extra in order to dine in them. And on our first night, we dined in 150 Central Park. And if you are looking for fine dining, this is where to go. This place was absolutely fantastic. This is the top of the Rising Tide Bar. Remember, we were downstairs a few minutes ago in the Royal Promenade, and this is the bar. This is where you would get on from the upper deck. Because we're in port, this is when they get a lot of the maintenance done. And we can see here we have, where is he? We have one of the gardeners up here. They were just trimming the live wall. And there is a live wall here, and then there is one behind us. And there is just the greenery that is planted up the wall. It really makes you feel like you're inside a park at sea. And another elephant sculpture. The attention to detail is just second. Oh, and while we're on Central Park, right here we have the Park Cafe. This is pretty much open all the time. It's great for breakfast, it's great for lunch, and there is no extra charge to eat in here. But it's just light fare, small sandwiches, fruit, that kind of thing. And before we come out of the park, let's just tilt the camera up. I don't even know if you can see. It's very bright, but let's just turn it down. We can see the water slides right above me. Maybe we'll head up there next. And of course, when you go on a cruise holiday, especially as a runner, especially as an athlete, you're gonna wanna eat a lot. And right here is the main dining room. Now this isn't somewhere that we go all the time because it's a bit of a production, it takes a long time, but we do like to go here a couple of times on a cruise. So I'm just gonna walk in and show you how gorgeous it is. Of course, if we're in port now, everybody's out having fun. So no one's gonna be in here eating right now. So we're safe to go in and just take a look around. And coming to the main dining room is a fabulous option if you're looking for finer dining. I don't know if I'd actually put it up to the level of fine dining, but the food is fantastic. 
fantastic. The service is excellent. You know what? It's very typical cruisy. Have a nice big centerpiece here. And it's actually three stories, so they can fit a lot of people in here at the same time. Now, if you do have questions on the food, go ahead and write in the comments. This isn't going to be a food tour, although I will mention a few more things about the food from different restaurants, especially the Windjammer, the buffet. So as you know, if you've been on a cruise, you know that eating is a big part of it, but one of the best ways that Harmony and I have found to increase our energy expenditure is by not taking the elevators on the ship. So most of the time we are taking the stairs up and down. Now remember, there are 16 total passenger decks and I'm actually filming this video on the fourth day and my legs are pretty sore from all the up and down as well as my normal amount of running and weights. Now, if you've ever been on any of the Oasis class ships, you'll know that the stairwells are where they put some of the best artwork. So on the landings of each floor, they have different artwork. So it's probably no surprise to those of you that know me that when I go on holiday, it's not about a holiday from working out. In fact, I usually end up doing more activity when I'm on holiday than when I'm at home. Because on holiday, I don't have to go to work. I get better sleep and I get more workouts. Maybe not better workouts because as I've already said, running on that track can be a little monotonous, especially when you're doing a long run. But let's take a visit to the gym. Now, let me know in the comments if you get excited about the fitness center. It's a pretty important part of holiday, especially if you're on somewhere like a cruise ship where you're not off and you can't get out and run around all the time. Now, Harmony and I were both pretty excited about this, but you can see behind me we have four Peloton bikes. So if you are one of my Pelo peeps, make sure you give a thumbs up in the comment and let me know how excited you would be if you had a Peloton on your cruise ship. And not surprisingly, there are no shortage of treadmills. We have, I don't know, 20 along this wall. And then there are some more, another bank on the other side. And of course the cruise wouldn't be complete without all kinds of activities. So they do have spin classes. You can ride the Peloton if you want to do a spin workout on your own. They have stretching classes in this little studio behind me. We have a full suite of weight machines. And then we have a solid suite of free weights to make you your best self and to work off your dessert. Because let's be honest, everybody on this ship, including me, is eating a lot more dessert. Let's go through this door. This is like a secret door. Don't think it's actually for customers. It's a very heavy, obviously fireproof door. Oh, and the music totally changes to something relaxing. Now downstairs, this is where we have the massage rooms, the changing rooms. Oh, and this is a cruise hack. If you are in a room with someone else, maybe your significant other, and you both have to shower at the same time, just grab a bag, go down to the spa, and you can shower in a beautiful big shower. You're not all cramped in those little in-room showers. And if anyone gives you any hassle about it, just tell them I sent you. Now, cruising is perfect for kids. There are loads of stuff to do for little kids, for teenagers. They have the clubs for the teenagers. But I just walked into the solarium, and the solarium doesn't allow children under the age of 16. So this is a perfect place to come and relax. Now, this ship is the newest of the Oasis class ships, and they've made a few changes. One of those changes is by making this enclosed, so it is climate controlled. You can be out here in really cold weather when the ship goes to other places, and you can be out here when it's raining. And in the solarium, we have some beautiful hot tubs. Now we're just coming down to the lower deck of the solarium. There's a little pool. It's probably, I don't know, four, five, six inches deep, and they have these little deck chairs. It's a perfect place to just hang out with a book and relax like you're supposed to do on vacation. Well, let's step outside for just a second. Oh, it's bright. I know I live in Florida and I get beautiful scenery every day, but it is nothing like the Caribbean. Look at the color of this sea. In fact, let me, let me make it just a little darker for you guys so you can see the deep blue. It is absolutely beautiful. There's sailboats all around us. And this is what it's all about, coming down to the Caribbean when it's still cold where you live. Clearly there's some kind of elephant theme on board. Now perhaps you've been on other Oasis class ships and you remember there is another hot tub on the other side of the ship, the one that hangs over the side. Well on the Wonder they have replaced it with this bar and I think it was a pretty good choice. This has to be the most beautifully positioned bar on the entire ship. The bar actually goes out over the side and it's a great place to come and sip a cocktail while you're watching the sunset. But if I had one critique about this bar, it's that it's not very big. So unless you get here early, all the seats are gonna be taken. And the only reason no one is here now is because the bar is closed while we're in port. Okay, we are up on near the top deck. You can see there is just a little higher deck right up there where you can sit out in the sun. But right now you can see these water slides. There are a couple of water slides right behind me. These are the same. And then over here we have, I don't know what it's called, the toilet bowl. You kind of come down this slide and then you wash around in a big bowl, just like you go down a toilet. I just went down the yellow water slide and here's a tip for you guys. I wore my rash guard because I wanted to wear my Insta360 Go 2. And you know, I wanted to 
to clip it right here as I went down the slide. But because I'm wearing all this, I couldn't move down the slide. I got stuck halfway down and I had to kind of shimmy my way all the way down. So when you go on these slides, wear as little as possible and you'll be super slick. And then we have a great area for the kids to play right down here. Another solid option for a bar is the lime and coconut right out here on the pool deck. Beautiful views all around us. And then of course, if you want to watch a movie at night, we have the big movie screen right behind me, looking over two more pools on each side of the ship. Now this hot tub is pretty neat also. It has a glass side. So when someone is standing or sitting in the hot tub, you can kind of see under the water and see what they're getting up to from down below on the pool deck. No one's in the hot tubs right now, so I can't show you what I mean, but use your imagination. Right, next up, I want to show you the sports deck. Well, sports deck is a pretty exciting place. We have a basketball court slash soccer pitch slash pretty much any other sport that they decide to do. Oh, and right behind me, there is a, uh, there's a big drop. And if we look over the edge, that's the boardwalk right down there. And much like in Central Park, where you get a balcony looking over the park, down here we have the boardwalk and you can look over the boardwalk. Now I'm gonna continue with the sports deck in just a second, but there's one part of the ship that I am not gonna be able to show you because I don't have access. And that is the sweet neighborhood. And right up here, behind these triangle glass windows, that's the coastal kitchen. And up here, we have the pool area for the sweet guests. And to get up there, you have to order a grand suite or a loft suite. And it's nice that they have their own area to hang out and eat because the least expensive suite on this cruise at least is $9,000 for the week. Pretty expensive. The people dropping that kind of cash on their holiday deserve to have something away from me and everybody else. And this is my favorite view of the Aqua Theater. We can look right down here over the boardwalk at this big slide right here in the back. But this is the Aqua Theater. They have a pool right at the end. They have high diving. They have synchronized swimming shows. It's all pretty fantastic. But we're gonna be going down there as soon as I show you the rest of the sports court. All right, right behind me is the mini golf. Let me see if I can darken that up so you guys can see it. Nice and fun, fun for the whole family. Harmony and I definitely get in on this action at least once on a cruise holiday. And no one's doing it right now, but I will add some footage in of somebody on the zip line. But there is a zip line that runs from up here and it comes all the way across, across the big drop down into the boardwalk and it ends right over here. Right behind me is the entrance to the abyss. That is that giant slide that we're gonna go down to the bottom in just a second. One of my favorite things to do on the Oasis class ships and the Freedom class ships, the flow ride. And if you haven't done it, this is an absolute must do. Here's a tip if you're on a ship with a flow rider. Get there on the first day. The day that you board is the day that you head right to the flow rider, you sign the necessary waiver, and you get on it immediately. Because no one else wants to get on the flow rider the second they get on the ship, so you don't have to wait in line. Now the lines are never really that long, but if I had the choice not to wait, I would rather not wait. Okay, there's something else that I want you guys to be aware of, and that is the elevator shafts. Now, we're at the stern of the ship, and there are a bank of six elevators, but in the space between those elevators, they always have big art installations. And I just realized that I'm walking on a bridge. It's very difficult to see right now, but remind me, and I'll show you the art installations in between the elevators. Listen, I'm at the Windjammer. This is the buffet. I'm just gonna run inside. I'm gonna give you a brief tour. I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm not a cruise vlogger, so I'm not going to be eating in front of the camera. That's weird, but I do wanna show you just how good everything is in here because they've made a lot of changes. So before you used to go into a buffet and you used to help yourself and people would use their filthy hands and they'd grab the tongs and then they'd put it back. It would fall into the food and then you'd grab it. But since COVID, they've made a lot of changes. They've made a lot of healthy changes. And one of those changes is that now in the buffet, the crew serves you. So you just tell them what you want. I'm telling you, this is a great way to stop you from overeating because if I am going to help myself, I'm probably gonna help myself to more than I could eat. And then I'll go ahead and eat it. But something also great that they've done is that they've made a lot of individual portions. So let me just show you what that looks like. So you're looking at a tomato and cucumber salad, all in individual sized portions. This is a black bean and diced pepper salad. And I'm sorry to be showing you the salads, guys. This is just a big part of my diet. But we have all these salad bowls that you can just take. You don't have to worry about helping yourself. And then we have all the accoutrement for the salads. This is a burrito bar. And you can pick the fillings that you want and they make it for you fresh. And then of course, here is a money shot. These are some of the desserts. We're looking at coffee cheesecake, chocolate cappuccino, the classic jelly peanut butter cup cheesecake. Now all of those are gluten free. Then we have a little kids area. Now the kids area is available for everyone. Cake pops, rice crispy treats, all the good stuff. I'm telling you, this is the most beautiful dessert area of the ship. The kids area is where it's at. And before the COVID rules were put into place, you used to be able to go on tours, you used to be able to go into the gallery.
Valley, see how they prepare all the food, get to see the bakery, you got to go on the bridge. It was all very fun, but we can't do that anymore. But Royal Caribbean does bake all their bread every single day. It is quite an operation. And not just that, we also have all the desserts. Everything is made fresh. You can eat as much or as little as you like. Okay, let me just show you the bakery. We're coming over to the bakery right now. Okay, remember before we went into the Windjammer, we were talking about those elevator art installations? Well, right now I'm about seven flights down and we can look up here, we can see this art installation right above me. And right now I'm on deck six and this goes all the way up to deck 14, right below the Windjammer. Okay, but right now, right now we're gonna go into the boardwalk and we can see boardwalk set up in lights, come on. So the boardwalk is pretty awesome. It has like a Coney Island feel. We even have a Zoltar machine. Write in the comments below if you know what movie made the Zoltar machine famous. We have some video games, kind of like fun carnival type games. Right behind me is the hot dog stand. Now this is new on the Wonder of the Sea. We have Playmakers. Now who doesn't love a good sports bar? Oh, the sun is out. And then we have Johnny Rockets, which is like a 50s style diner. Here is the bottom of that giant water slide that goes all the way up to the sports deck. This is a lot of fun. You have to do this slide if you get on this ship. And let's get back in the shade so it's easier to see everything. And you may or may not have noticed, but I did have to switch to the GoPro. My Fuji camera ran out of battery and I realized I did not pack an extra. I brought four cameras with me, but I didn't bring enough batteries for my main camera to work the entire time. So that's charging right now. And right now we are at the Aqua Theater and this is the place where Royal Caribbean puts on the best shows. It is seriously impressive. Now you can see the floor of the pool is raised at this moment, but it can drop down to become pretty deep. And then right over my head, we see the Crown and Anchor logo, but to each side of that is a high dive platform. And there's even a really high one right up here. And it amazes me the talent that these cruise companies can get to come and work on their ships. The shows are really very good. One set of stairs to show you the climbing wall. Now there is a climbing wall on this side and then across there, there is another climbing wall on the other side. Guys, if you haven't figured it out, there is a lot to do on this ship. Now, of course, every one of you watching this video is probably a runner. So even though when I'm on holiday, I like to do a lot of running, I have a chance to do a lot of other stuff. And to me, that is where the value lies. I get to have a quality workout. I don't have to miss out any of my training and I don't have to go to work. I get to replace work with loads of other fun stuff. All right guys, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. I know this was a little different from what I usually put out, but it was a toss up between not putting out a video this week or making it kind of a runner goes on holiday. So if you have made it this far, thank you very much. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel for more running content. And of course, if you like this video, if you like seeing something a little different, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.